Today I want to talk about a fun project. This. Now the keenly eyed among you might actually recognize what this is. This is an Apple time capsule. And this is the third gen that was released between 2009 and 2011. And believe it or not, unlike most Apple gadgets from that era, it still works. So I was scrolling through Facebook Marketplace the other day and I've been looking for one of these for a while. Snazzy Labs put up a video, he talked about some cool cheap tech gadgets and this popped up on there. And I remember seeing it before when I was a kid, like I walked through the Apple store and like, oh look, it's pretty, it's, you know, understated, but definitely very Apple, especially of that 2009 era. Like honestly, you look at it, uh, you could even convince me that this was the old first gen Apple TV. Um, back when you know they actually had a full Intel processor in it and there's a whole computer just pared down a little bit. But no, this is actually a very, like, very specific, very... It's a backup appliance. So I powered it up, I was able to factory reset it, uh, clear the drive, and it worked. Now, first backup took like 10 hours, I guess, somewhere around there. But after that, it's been pretty quick to back up every hour. And even though it's slow, once it gets the first backup done, every subsequent backup is pretty small. This thing gets kind of loud. This is an old hard drive. This is a 2011 era hard drive. It's 5400 RPM, it's really slow, it's loud, and it's just not acceptable. Not in this day and age. So, we got a package. So I have this SSD and this right here, which takes this drive to a three and a half inch size. Before I begin, let's run a quick benchmark. This is just for kicks and giggles. You're not really gonna see anything too crazy here. And let's start the speed test. And you know, I, it's fine. But yeah, and that reads just abysmal. I, I think we've seen enough. To get into this thing, we need to remove this base. Let's open up our airport utility, and we, this is perfect. We should be seeing this. Internal disk needs repair. That is perfect. So let's go and edit. Go to disks. Let's erase the disk. We're gonna call this, I mean, we can do a quick erase. There's nothing on it. Can't hear a single thing. And it's working. And let's start a speed test. Okay, nothing to write home about. <laughs> It's about two megabytes per second faster, but you know what? The real purpose of this was actually the volume. I would wake up in the middle of the night with this doing a backup for my Mac, and that's just not cool. It's not very fun. So I actually consider this progress. Well, we're done. It's finished. Twice the storage and a lot quieter. No faster but quieter. Would I do it again for the speed alone? No. No, not a chance. Thanks for watching.